Hello humanoids and welcome to Halfling Hobbies. I am Halfling Hannah and we are here in the new and improved Tasty Tavern. Welcome to our very first Tasty Taverns video since we created the new studio. I am super excited about this and I thought maybe it would be fun if we redid my very first Tasty Taverns video, which was my potions of healing. This three ingredient potions of healing was awesome and it's one of my best videos on YouTube so far. But I thought new and improved Tasty Tavern, why not a new and improved potions of healing? So if you want my original three step process, you can check out my other video, but here we are going to create a delicious, beautiful new potions of healing for your D&D campaign. Here we go. All right, friends, so this time we're gonna need a shaker. Of course, if you don't have one, just grab a pitcher. You can do that too. Uh, you're gonna want one that has the strainer on the top because we're gonna have to double strain this recipe. So of course, potions of healing have to be red in color. So to achieve that, our first ingredient is going to be fresh strawberries. Oh, I love fresh strawberries. And at the time of this, it is summertime, so they abound. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take eight beautiful, bright red, ripe strawberries, we're gonna cut off the top, slice them in half, and throw them into our mixer. Of course, if you do not like strawberries, you are allergic to strawberries, or anything like that, uh, you can substitute fresh raspberries. Uh, ooh, some fresh pomegranate would be really good. If you wanted to do that, you could do that. So uh, any kind of red berry. And if you don't wanna mess with any kind of fresh fruit, then just get fruit juice, some red fruit juice. Let's do one more. I totally lost count, but that looks good. So we're going to do eight strawberries cut in half. Next up, we're going to add two teaspoons of sugar. I have sugar cubes because I think they're super fun, uh, but regular sugar works just as well. So two teaspoons of sugar thrown in there, four, four teaspoons of sugar thrown in there. <laughs> Forgot I was doing a double recipe. Next up, we're going to take our jigger. The small side is one ounce, the big side is two. And we're going to do two ounces of lime juice. You can do fresh lime juice if you want. I like to use this uh, premium lime juice uh, just uh, in the cocktail aisle in your mixers. Um, Cause then you can just pop this in the fridge, use it whenever you want. Doesn't take nearly as much time, which is really nice. So we're gonna put that in there. And now we are going to muddle this. So this is a muddler. You can also use just a regular potato smasher, the back of a spoon, anything that you have that works. And we are going to release the juices in these strawberries. Now I'm doing this carefully because I really don't wanna completely pulverize these strawberries. Otherwise it's going to be quite the mess trying to strain it. Uh, I made that mistake before. So we're just going to muddle them gently to release the juice. At this point, if you want this to be super red, you can add a couple of drops of food coloring. I'm not going to do that. I'd like the natural red that the strawberries do. I think it looks really neat. But if you want these to be very red, add just a couple of drops of food coloring. And then, now, here's where the magic comes in white rum. I am a rum fan. I very much enjoy rum of all varieties. We're using white in this so as not to overpower the color of the strawberries. So we're going to do four good ounces of white rum. I'm just using Bacardi and then a little extra dash. <laughs> Finally, we're gonna add a little ice need too much. 
put the top on it. Make sure it's on there real good. It's gonna seal up more as you shake, but hold the lid and give it a good shake. Now we are going to double strain this into a glass because you have all of those strawberry seeds and things that you do not want your guests drinking. So you're gonna pour it from the top over another strainer. Oh, look how pretty that is. Make sure you get all that rum out of there. Yeah. Halfling's gotta have her rum. Beautiful. Not pretty. And this would be great. This is beautiful. It's got that gorgeous red color to it. It's uh, semi-translucent almost because uh, the strawberries muddled in there because it's not pure juice. It's not see-through. Um, so when the light hits it, it's kind of translucent, which I think is super cool for a potion, but we're not done yet. We have one final step to make this a truly magical potion of healing, and that is to use this, my secret ingredient. This is called a few different things. It's called luster dust, pearl dust, or cake glitter. This is edible glitter that does not dissolve in liquid, meaning it stays suspended and creates a really, really magical effect. It does not have a taste and it does not have a texture. So you can put in as much as you would like. So we're gonna put that in, give it just a quick stir, and watch the magic happen. Now, to give it a taste. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know if I'm the only one who gets this, but at Sonic, they have this strawberry lime slush that I absolutely love during the summer. This tastes like a very adult strawberry lime slush in a glass and it is delicious. It is so good. Strawberry and lime just go so well together. It's very simple, but elegant. The swirls in this are just mesmerizing to look at. It honest to goodness looks like a potion. It looks so magical. You can serve this in a wine glass like this one. You can serve it in a hurricane, hurricane glass. That also works really well, like this right here. Tulip glass, also called a hurricane glass. Okay. You can also serve this in potion bottles or even make your own label for your potion bottles to make them look super old world and fantasy awesome. However you want to serve this, I guarantee it is going to be a hit and it is sure to revive your party if it's feeling just a little bit down. Until next time, my friends, may your game have advantage. Kathleen Hannah here, signing out. Mm. It's not even noon yet. I can't drink this whole thing, but I want to. It's so good. Do I have to be anywhere today? I don't have to go anywhere today. It's fine. <laughs>